Ladies and gentlemen, this is a new experiment. This is an Anglo-French production, and it's with my really good friend, Dr. Katz, who's all the way over in France, in Normandy. Philippe. Yes, Mark. What I want to let everyone know is that we have both worked in the same subject and that you have had a passion for cooking. And with this passion, what you've found is that a way of making certain people's life much better. And those are the people who have had radiation. Can you tell us about that? How, how you found that and, and what you did? Okay, I will tell you. My job is uh, the examination of, of salivary gland, right? And in my job, I had many patients who had a uh, throat cancer or tongue cancer and they have the treatment was radiation and after radiation you know that uh, it's burn the salivary gland so they have no saliva and without saliva you cannot live it's unbelievable so uh, they came to me and asked if I can do something and uh, I will try to uh, make some special cook for there and I try to do uh, first soup and I use soup, special soup, very liquid but with a special texture, right? Uh, and, and we have now recipes for all my patients with soup with the uh, vegetable or meat, with fish, and, and everything that they can eat normally with the family. And that was the beginning, and the beginning was uh, about 20 years ago with the, with the first patient. And the first patient was uh, a man who lost half percent of his uh, weight. Come tell us what we are going to cook today, please. What's on the menu? Uh, the menu is very simple. We, we will do a, a vegetable soup, a special one, uh, with, the, uh, with a simple vegetable that you can buy everywhere and you have everywhere. So we will do with the carrots and uh, celiac and uh, leeks and potatoes. Yeah, I can show you. Everything is prepared. Right, and you have everything here. Okay, everything is cut and washed. Philippe, will you please go through all the instruments you need in the kitchen in order to make the soup and show us what you're going to use? Okay, we, we will use a pan. This is it's a, it's a medium one. It's about four liters. And we will use a spoon, uh, salt, here, you have salt, and sodium bicarbonate, right, cumin, here, a little bit of cinnamon, right, and also what we call a bouillon cube that you have in England the same and a chicken one, all right? Two onions plus and garlic. That's very simple. It's enough for a soup. And after we have to blend and this is the blender. Also, we use olive oil and you have everything. After, we have just to cook. Philippe, take us through each stage now. Explain this part, the preparation, the early part of the preparation, please. Okay, the first stage is, we will start by cut the onions. Okay, so you cut the onions like this. You have two here. 
All right, and we will put on the pan with the garlic, All right? We put now olive oil. And olive oil, you have to put quite a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Eight spoon. And we will start now to cook. Philippe, would you please now go to the next phase? Can you tell us how long it's been frying for and what you do next? You have to cook for the onion about five minutes. And in five minutes, it, it's coming uh, fried, okay? And after, we will put the uh, vegetable inside. We pour everything, okay? When you start to fry, pour the uh, vegetable inside. I put all the vegetable inside the pan. After, we will put salt, salt inside. That means that you take a pinch like this, right? You put like that. Another one. That's two. And a small bit. Right. Plus the uh, sodium bicarbonate a little bit. Right? And I have now to mix them. Because with the big carbonate, you make a base. It's not acid. That's a very clever idea. It's, it's yeah. wonderful. Because I know many of these patients, yeah. anything acid, like a little wine or anything like that, they can't, they can't eat. So it's very clever. Well done. I have to cover and leave like that for about uh, 20 minutes. But you have to mix every five minutes. When it starts cooking, I will put some cumin. Okay, I'll show you. This is cumin. And I put a little bit inside, plus a small, very small bit of cinnamon. So I took cinnamon with a knife. You see, this is a cinnamon and I put cinnamon inside. Why I'm doing that? So I put cinnamon or, or cumin because they have to smell before eating. Because you know that when you have radiation, you have no taste, you lose your taste. And if you lose your taste, you feel nothing when you are eating. We put spice like that, and they smell before, and they, they have to recognize what it is. It is cumin, or cinnamon, or something. When they have the uh, habits, they can recognize what they are eating. And the taste is coming back, the taste is coming back with the, with the, uh, with the smell. Not paper, never. You put that inside, yeah, it's too hot, and it's burned the mouth of the patient. Philippe, the, the question I want to ask you is that texture is everything for patients who've had radiotherapy. With your soups, they're so creamy, and yet you, you, you use no cream. How do you make the texture so nice? It's the texture that's wonderful. For the texture, it's, it's uh, something very simple. You have to use olive oil. Never cream, never butter. Because it, it, with that, you have something very fat. You have cholesterol. And the texture is not the same. But if you use olive oil and some potatoes, you have to put every, every time one or two or three potatoes. And with the blender, Olive oil plus the blender plus uh, the soup is give you the texture, a smooth texture that you can eat uh, very easily 
even if you have no saliva. Okay, look at this wonderful vegetable soup. Look how creamy it is. Oh, it's the texture. It's, it's slightly sweet, but it's the texture that's so fantastic. I think you're all going to love it. <laughs> I really do.